Hi, I'm Alex McRicker. This is the Virginia Fishing Report for the week of April 13th, 2020. In today's report, I'm going to highlight agency updates on trout stocking in regards to the novel coronavirus COVID-19. I'm also going to highlight how to fish safely and responsibly if you choose to get out on the water. And in this video segment of What's in My Tackle Box, I'll be talking about top flies and lures for targeting trout during the spring months of April and May across Virginia. We have recently been receiving lots of questions about whether we are still conducting our annual spring trout stocking. In an effort to avoid crowds, we are no longer pre-announcing our trout stockings this spring season. We are also no longer updating the DJF website with our trout stockings or the DJF trout line. However, all rivers and streams are still receiving their full allotment of trout stocking this spring. If you do choose to fish during the pandemic, it's essential that you do so safely and responsibly. We're asking all anglers to please maintain social distancing and to follow Center for Disease Control guidelines while recreating on the water. Please consider fishing by yourself, or if you do fish with someone else, make sure it's a family member or another person that you're currently isolating with during the governor's state home order. Remember, all regulations and licenses still apply, and you can always check the DGIF website for current information and up-to-date guidelines. April and May are prime months for trout fishing in Virginia. Right now, our high elevation mountain brook trout streams are running full. High water allows the fish to spread out this time of the year, and you can find fish from pools, riffles, and runs to flats. Also, this is a great time of the year to get out and fish for mountain, mountain trout, because typically with warming air temperatures, we also have warming water temperatures. And as water temperatures rise up into the 50s and even 60s on warm days during this time of the year, we get a lot of great spring hatches. April's a great month for uh, mayflies this time of the year. We get a lot of Hendrickson mayflies as well as March Browns in sizes uh, really 14 and 16 on our mountain trout streams right now. It can provide for some really exciting dry fly fishing. As we get closer to May, we'll start to see some sulfurs. Uh, usually in sizes 14 and 16, and we might even get some larger light cahills on our mountain trout streams this time of the year. Caddis are also going to be hatching, so you can find, uh, find those in sizes 14 through 16. It's great to kind of skate or skitter an elk hair caddis on our mountain trout streams this time of the year. Really, spring uh, allows for some excellent and exciting dry fly fishing. So if you like fly fishing, it's a great time to be out on our brook trout streams. You can do really well um, with a 7.5 foot 3 weight. Um, you know, I like to fish light this time of the year, um, and you can get away with a 9-foot 4X leader pretty well on most of our uh, high elevation mountain streams, rather than fishing a lighter tippet like 5X and 6X later in the summer months. Um, Springtime is great because all that high water, the fish are feeding actively, they're, they're looking for food, and there's great hatches. Um, this is a great time of the year to be fishing dry flies, so I really like... Um, you know, fishing a, uh, bushy attractor flies during this time of the year, traditional style. Um, Harry Murray's uh, Mr. Rapidan dry fly is really productive. The yellow wings on this wolf style dry fly allow it to really um, be highly visible and you can see it well. The fish tend to tend to take it really well and it does a great job of mimicking some of those Hendrickson's and March Brown mayflies that we get during this time of the year. I also like fishing a, a standard attractor royal wolf pattern in a size 14 and 16. Um, you can do well with the Mr. Rapidan parachute as well, um, or you know, fishing a bushy elk hair caddis in a size 12 or 14 is really good. It's important though, we all enjoy fishing dry flies, it's important to remember that 90% of a trout's diet is actually subsurface, and while we all love the visual take of a dry fly, it can be really great to nymph this time of the year too. These fish are oftentimes looking for these nymphs before the hatches get thick. Um, and you can really do well fishing with just attractor nymph patterns on these mountain brook trout streams too. So uh, beadhead pheasant tail nymph, beadhead hare's ear nymph can be really good, again in sizes 14 and 16. Um, and I like fishing uh, you know, a, a, a tractor like a copper john nymph as well, um, or even a beadhead prince nymph uh, sort of looks like some of those smaller stone flies that we have during this time of the year that are in the stream. And, they can do, and you can do really well dropping a, a nymph 18 to 24 inches underneath your dry fly on a lot of our mountain brook trout streams during this time of the year. Um, it's great to be up in the mountains. There's a lot of mountain laurel blooming this time of the year, um, and it's a great time to, to have some exciting dry fly fishing in full water. Um, and again, I, I think anglers that are willing to hike and, and willing to fish some of these attractor dry flies um, are, are gonna do well this time of the year. 
Anglers that are spin fishing can also do good if you want to focus on the deeper pools that can be good this time of the year. Um, it's popular to fish uh, uh, trout magnets and smaller rooster tails right now. If you're spin fishing you can do well with a five and a half or six foot ultra light to uh, uh, medium, uh, medium action spinning rod. Um, and uh, a popular uh, lure is the Road Runner, which is actually a grub style lure with it on, on a jig head that actually has a spinner bait on it that does quite well, um, tracks fish in some of those deeper holes. And again, you're going to be kind of mimicking some of those minnow imitations with that spin fishing technique, but you can do well catching some of the bigger trout uh, in some of these pools. Also, don't forget to try to complete the Virginia Trout Slam Challenge this spring. We're asking anglers to try to catch a brown trout, brook trout, and rainbow trout all in the same day. Anglers that successfully complete the slam can apply online for their Trout Slam decal sticker through their Go Outdoors account. We've had 63 anglers complete the Virginia Trout Slam Challenge since we launched it at the end of February. And recently, we had a lucky angler, Jonathan Martinez, get the Trout Slam Challenge twice in one weekend. So congratulations, Jonathan. That's quite the accomplishment. We hope this video uh, and these tips allow you to be successful on your trout endeavors this spring. And above all, remember to exercise caution and to fish safely throughout Virginia.